very intimidating, sneaking up behind you there. Hello, what the hell was that? Are you Jack the Ripper, what are you doing? It's a very scary accent, that's why they use it in horror movies all the time, the British accent. Like Hannibal Lecter from Silence of the Lambs, he had the British accent. Remember, he'd be like, hello, Clarice. Are the lambs still screaming? <laughs> that was scary. Scary because he had a British accent. See Hannibal Lecter from Newfoundland? That would never work, right? Well, how's she going, Dr. Clarice, eh? Hey? <laughs> are those sheep still giving you a hard time, are they? <laughs> Fiddling. They love fiddling. You can tell I'm a beer drinker. Uh, all year round I love beer, except during the holiday season I go overboard on eggnog. Is that not the most delicious drink in the world, eggnog? With the worst name ever, eggnog. Delicious egg. I never had it for years. I remember trying it for the first time. I'm like, okay. thought it was going to be like a mouthful of omelet. I'm like, all right, what is it going to be? Oh my god. It's like a booze milkshake. Where have you been all my life? This is amazing. <laughs> egg dog is made out of uh, eggs, cream, and sugar, right? Same ingredients as cake. Just a big glass of cake. What desperate alcoholic invented this? <laughs> Honey, what are you doing? Making a cake. Save me a glass. Well, you can only drink eggnog during the holiday season, Christmas time, winter time, hey? With good reason. You don't want to drink eggnog at a summertime beach party, hey? Sun beating down on you, starts cooking up that cake batter in your stomach, hey? Woo! Good party, guys, yeah! It's hot today, hey? It's hot! It's really hot. Oh my god, what's happening? There's a cake in my bum! Montreal. I dated a girl from Montreal, good Catholic girl, yeah, she loved to get up early Sunday morning, go to church. Uh, I'm different, I love to drink on Saturday, that's just my thing, you know. She was always asking me to go to church with her, and I said one day, I said, okay, I'll go. I'd never been to the Catholic church, because as a kid, I was raised in the United Church, which is Protestant religion, okay? Now, Protestant religion, I found out, is like Catholic light, you know what I mean? You don't take it as seriously, you can sleep in once in a while. Catholic Church, you gotta know what you're doing in there. There's moves you gotta do. You gotta follow along with everybody in there. It's like a, it's like a country line dance or something. You know? you know what I mean? You know, you gotta know when to stand up and when to sit down in unison with everybody in the church. <laughs> you don't want to stand up at the wrong time like I did, just out of nowhere and think, "Oh, sorry, I jumped the gun, everybody. I'm new." <laughs> Stand up, sit down, kneel down and pray, and stand up and read a book and put it back. And you sit down, and you stand up, and you sing a song, and there's hand signals you gotta do, and jingles you gotta yell. Or... They should give you a pamphlet on the way in, you know, if you're new. Explain to me why all the Catholics were in the parking lot stretching beforehand, getting ready, eh? Uh, gonna be a long one. Easter Sunday, this guy goes on and on and on. <laughs> so I whispered to my girlfriend, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? And she said, just follow along. <laughs> it was great advice, hey? Eh? Just eyeball everybody else in the church trying to follow along. Hallelujah. And awesome with you. And also with you. <laughs> Sorry. That sounded like awesome though, right? I thought he said awesome. Sorry. Whew. People got mad at me though, you know, when the at the end when the priest he's walking through the middle and he's got that gold stick in his hand and the little bucket in the other hand. He's doing this dippy sticky flicky thing. <laughs> dippy sticky flicky. Dippy sticky flicky. Like what's he doing? She says, he's blessing us with holy water. I was like, oh. So I couldn't help but be the comedian trying to get a laugh. He got me. I was like, oh.
So I get to sleep in on Sundays now, which is way better. Bonsoir, my friends. Thank you so much.